guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here, and today I am going to Goodwill. I'm gonna do a thrift shopping home decor video, which has been highly requested from you guys, and I thought it would be fun to do it. So I'm just gonna go inside and do like a vlog style and see what exactly I can find. Um, maybe I can DIY some things and just like give a couple tips when home decor shopping, like things that you might not think about buying but using for like your home decor needs and finds and purchases and I don't even know what I'm talking about but if you're not already make sure to subscribe to my channel you guys we are growing so fast it's crazy so definitely subscribe to be part of the Lone Fox family and yeah let's just head on inside got a basket so here's the home decor section or home good section I guess you could say not really decor but let's see what's in here trinket tray sort of 99 cents these are also pretty I feel like Goodwill is really good for like crystal style like glass so you can find a lot of like the crystallized glasses in different colors if you want to feel like you accomplish something you can get a trophy i'm just going to write on it myself like icon i think we need this i'm gonna do it this marine catch the water from our ceiling oh we broken ceiling <laughs> okay so i'm taking away the lampshade because i found this good in fresh vintage light which is probably going to knock everything over but i'm going to spray paint the wood parts brass, so it'll be black and brass. And the last thing I'm gonna get is this good clock. So it's not exactly like the target that I wanted, and this is only $6.99, so I'm gonna do something with that. I don't know exactly what, but I'll figure it out. Hey guys, I got all my items. I'm about to get on this bird and ride home with all of them. So it is the next day now. Um, I got home last night and then the sun went down so I wasn't able to film uh, the DIY process yesterday but I am going to film it right now for you guys and I want to show you guys some of the things that I got at the thrift store just like as a collective little miniature haul you know and then also um, the DIY process of a couple pieces and then we're just going to style a couple pieces as well so let me show you what, what I got. So I got this good and fresh little basic frame. It's $1.99. Honestly, you can probably get this at the Dollar Tree, um, but you know, I was at the thrift store, so I might as well. And then I got this really cool clock. It's like a vintage clock. The sides are a bit dirty, mainly like right here. So I wanna clean this and then maybe do something to the silver portion of it, maybe take out the glass. I don't exactly know. And then I got this little tiny trinket tray, which I'm just gonna leave as is, because it's kind of pretty. It looks like it's from like anthropology or something for 20 doll hairs. And then I got this little ampersand sign, which I'm just gonna tighten up the screws down here because it's a little wobbly. And I think I'm just gonna leave this one as is as well. And then same with this. I just thought this was like a pretty accent. It's a little bit vintage, but this is just something nice as like a shelf filler. And this was $3.99. It had no price tag, so she just gave it to me for $3.99. But I think it might even be real silver because it's kind of tarnishing. Oh no, it says silver plate on the bottom, which I don't think it means that it's real silver. And the thing that I'm most excited about was this $8 lamp, well I guess $9 lamp. I just think it's so cool. It's like one of those industrial looking desk lamps, but what I'm going to actually do is paint all of the brown wood sections to be brass and then clean up the black sections a bit. And I think it's going to turn into like a really nice little um, desk lamp that I could put on my desk because mine's actually completely broken. So this will be perfect to add on there. So for the lamp, I'm gonna start by taping off like the wood sections or taping off more of like the black sections because these are all gonna stay the same and then the wood's gonna be the brass part. So I really only have like some scotch tape and um, paper towels. So I'm hoping that, that works, but I think it will because I'm not gonna do anything crazy, so. Okay. completely covered, hopefully, and I'm gonna use this 18 karat gold spray paint to spray the wood sections. I'm hoping I don't get anything like messed up, but we'll see. Golden and shimmery, yes. So we are going to let that dry and then I'll take off all of the um, wrapping. Okay, I took all the wrapping off. Literally looks the best. Like, check this out. I'm gonna scrape this little part off right here. It got a little bit on the black, but that's okay. But I also need to fix this um, knob. So I'm just gonna do that. Scraping it like on here. I'm gonna use a paintbrush and just paint it on the knob because this is just a lot easier than me trying to like tape off this little knob here. And it is complete. Check how good, oh, I forgot to take the tape off this. Gotta do that too. I have an idea for this frame and my idea is to use these paint sticks that I got at Home Depot. You get like a pack of 12 for like a dollar or something like that. But look it, there's like this really faint um, like ruler print on it. Can you see that? And I thought it'd be cool if I 
cut them and put them around the edge of the frame like completely and recreated the whole front like that would be so pretty with this on it so I'm going to recreate this frame and put the uh, paint sticks on it and make it into like a raw wood frame the struggle here though is actually cutting the pieces because I don't know how I'm gonna cut them so we will see I love being a DIYer that doesn't have a saw I'm gonna mark my pieces first and then I'll cut them after I actually cut one piece. Um, I just used a pair of scissors and just like cut on each side, snapped the piece off, and then used a emery board to sand down the edge. So it's nice and smooth, and then this is gonna go on here. So I have to create three more, and then I'll glue them all on. Finished cutting all the wood pieces. They are a little jagged because I kind of just broke them, but I actually like that. I think it adds a little bit of like um, vintage-esque quality, I guess you can say. And I'm just gonna glue these down using E6000, so it sticks really nicely, but you can kind of see the finished piece already. And then I'm gonna take the sticker off and put a photo in it if I can find one, or I'll just like cut one out of a magazine. So for this last project, which is a little ampersand like metal thingy, I'm thinking about somehow wrapping this cord completely around it and turning it into like something that looks macrame, but it's not. Like I just am wrapping it like the most ever. So it's been probably about 30 minutes and I still don't know what to do with this. The cording didn't really work as well as I wanted it to. Oh look, it's Emma on my phone. Um, but uh, I think I'm just gonna like spray paint this brass too because I seem to do that with everything and I think it will make it look nice and fresh and new. So let's just go do that real quick. Gotta get more of this spray paint soon because I seem to use it on everything. showing you how to decorate a little bit and like just giving you some ideas when you go to the thrift store on what to purchase and I hope you liked this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up I think for my next one I'm gonna try to structure it more and maybe get more pieces and maybe go to a couple of them just so the video is a little bit more full because I'm not exactly sure how full this video will be until I'm editing it in a couple of hours so we'll see how that goes but definitely subscribe for more videos I'm doing a lot of home videos on this channel of course and more DIYs coming very soon and follow my personal Instagram at I'm Drew Scott I'll put it on the screen for you to follow and I will catch you next one bye guys